Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly clean your dog. Um, I have two kids, they love to get stuff on my dog. You can get the dog wipes, um, but sometimes she also just needs a bath. So I just wanted to show you guys the proper way to give your dog a bath without making them have dry skin and stuff like that. First things first is you want to have some dog soap. Um, when you don't use dog soap, it gets your dog's fur dry and it causes them to itch a lot and it can cause them to get sores. I got this at Ross for $3.99. I'm not sponsored at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her all wet and then I'm going to put the soap on her. What you need for the dog to give your dog a bath is a leash. I usually put in a soap dispenser right here and then a towel and I like to put coconut oil on my dogs after as they get out of the shower when I'm brushing them. My uh, kids got syrup on my dogs from when I made uh, pancakes this morning. So that's why I'm giving her a bath because it's just so sticky. A wipe really wouldn't do much. So, so when I wash her, like when I use the soap, I do it in um, two different um, sections. So I'll do her chest and her back first, and then I'll do her legs and her tail and her neck. She's a big dog, so I use a lot of soap. I'll be back when she's rinsed off. Okay, I got her all soaked up and I'm ready to start rinsing her off. And I'm so ready to take a shower because it gets very messy. Like, I feel so itchy because of her hair. But these are the consequences of having a dog. You have to take care of them, you know? Yeah. She likes cleaning pamphlets. And I just love all, love this soap because it gets all the dirt off her. And it's very, 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 very important to wash their feet and their tail because that's what touches the ground the most. Oh, and their chest. Look how white she is. You can see all the spots that she has. No, she's not Dalmatian. She's an Argentinian dodo. When you're done rinsing her off and she's dry, you want to clean her ears out with Q-tip. Make sure you don't stick it out far. You just want to clean the walls of the ear. Don't stick it in there. Just the walls of the ear. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, I would wait for a bed. You can also do some research on how to do it. There's videos online that you could follow. And that's going to be it. Boy, what did you think? Did you have fun? Yeah, I think she did. Alright, so you're just going to use a towel and dry her off. Boy, get down! You're just gonna dry them off. And that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you take care of your pets. Bye.